as a generation that grew up watching super cute Disney fathers, we're suckers for adorable bearded older men. Nowadays, Forey J. Smith has taken the world by storm. You might recognize him from Yellowstone. He portrayed the ruggedly handsome ranch man, Lloyd Pierce. If you want to know more about the super private actor, well, we've got you. In today's video, we'll discuss his personal life and his amazing career. First off, the actor is well known in the industry. You'd love the actor if you adore Yellowstone's Lloyd Pierce, as we do. From what we're able to gather about the stuntman is that he's a lot like his character on the show. And that's a little too much for our hearts to take. You're probably right there with us if you're a show fan, as we're all rooting for his character. The faithful ranch hand has been there since the beginning and is regarded as one of the show's most memorable and endearing characters. But did you know that an actual grizzled veteran cowboy plays this grizzled veteran cowboy? Oh yeah, his attitude, talent, and swagger come from a real-life cowboy, which explains why he fits in so well. Yes, Smith is one of the last genuine cowboys in the United States. He's been a stuntman turned actor in Hollywood, so he's been doing it his whole life. Our love for him and the show forces us to dig deeper into the actor's life and provide you with all the information you want. <laughs> Mechanical bulls are for drunk chicks at the county fair. Coming up, the stuntman is a real-life cowboy. Yellowstone has become one of the most famous TV shows of all time, and we think it's because of how authentic it is. The creator has ensured viewers that it is as realistic as possible. It accurately portrays the high-stakes neo-reality western. Casting is the first and most important step in this process. Cowboy. Can't be married to two things at the same time, Jimmy. Lloyd seems quite at home on Yellowstone, the only television show today depicting ways of life in Western America complete with rodeos. It turns out that Smith does know what he's doing. Like most traditional cowboys, he grew up on a farm and learned the ropes from his elders. His grandfather taught him all about raising cattle and keeping a ranch. His family was proud to be a part of one of America's oldest traditional lifestyles. Montana is home to the actor's patriotic ancestors. He was born in Helena in 1959 and spent his early years on the ranch his grandparents owned in the city's southwest. The cowboy grew up there, feeding cows, riding horses, and spending most of his time around his beloved animals. The local rodeo was a tradition for him and his family when he was a kid. At the age of eight, he was already competing on his own. Horsemanship became his forte, soon becoming a big part of his identity. He claims that rodeo has brought a positive change in his life. The only one that can decide if you're going to rodeo is you. Let's learn more about his journey from cowboy to Hollywood stuntman. The actor was unsettled by a horse when he was just six years old, in front of his stepfather and mother. This incident scared his parents, but it made him realize he wanted to be a stuntman. This dream he's been chasing for half a century is finally becoming a reality. For the actor, being a cowboy and a horseman are lifetime pursuits. You do it with all your heart and soul for the rest of your life. Since the 1980s, he has used his skill to become a great stuntman and a star in Hollywood. He applies many lessons that he had learned in the rodeo to his work in Hollywood. Hollywood. These include planning, keeping an optimistic outlook, and not dwelling on setbacks. The actor has been performing stunts for almost 30 years. A great beginning to his career preceded his role as Lloyd on Yellowstone. From this platform, it's one of the blessings of being on the show. Let's look at the minor roles that he's had in the 1980s films. The actor has appeared in several tiny roles, including a sidekick in the 1987 TV movie Desperado by 1939. His work as a stuntman in Rambo 3 earned him widespread acclaim. Tombstone, made decades after the Western trend had reached Hollywood, is a classic. Now I really hate him. Watch it, Johnny. The film's success allowed the veteran stuntman to show off his skills, even though Smith's part in the picture was as a non-speaking member of the criminal Clanton gang of cowboys. Nobody's in anything. I could drunk going home and sleep it off. Get the goddamn here! Smith starred in Partida Durango, directed by Rodrigo de la Iglesia, alongside Javier Bardem four years after his turn as a wild cowboy in Tombstone. When Smith's Armendariz showed up there, he strutted around and flashed his gun while trying to negotiate with Bardem's Romeo Dolorosa. After a gunfight with DEA agent Dumas, Johnny is killed in the film. His part in the film was brief, but he was fully committed to portraying the character. The film's cult following allowed the cowboy to showcase his his acting skills. He slurred drunken comments at a birthday celebration and afterwards got hit in the head by Tom Selleck in the made-for-TV picture Ruby Jean and Joe the year before. Following up, the stuntman also appeared in Better Call Saul. By this point, the cowboy had made a name for himself as the go-to guy to hire if you needed a horse expert and an actor for your film. As an animal handler, he helped the production team of Two Guns, starring Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg in 2013. On the set of Chris Pine's Oscar-nominated film Hell or High Water in 2016, he once again collaborated with Taylor Sheridan as a horse wrangler. How much did he leave? How much? 
Neither film has Smith in a recognizable role, but he has since used that training to gain roles on shows like Better Call Saul and the Breaking Bad prequel series. The actor also plays 5J's auto salvage junkyard owner in Mabel, the season 3 premiere. As a thank you for his assistance with an important gas cap question, he orders a cab for private detective Michael Ermintrout. His gentle draw and character, who has trouble pronouncing the name Ermintrout in a dialogue with the cab business, will be instantly recognizable to fans of Yellowstone. What's more, he is still very into rodeo. His career had some dry stretches until he was cast as Lloyd on Yellowstone. However, he wasn't just waiting around for his next part. If he wasn't filming a rodeo sequence on TV, he was out there doing it for real. It's gotten just out of control. They're wanting to mark somebody. The actor has never stopped doing what he loves, whether it be rodeoing in Arizona State or Texas. 20 years ago with the release of Urban Cowboy, Well, that's what I told her. I said you worked, and she said we live like pigs and the rise in popularity of cowboy culture, he decided to return to Texas. Once there, the actor worked as a hired hand and competed in open rodeos. Then, in 1982, he filled out his permit and began competing in professional rodeos. He was a star there, too. The cowboy became a National Senior Pro Rodeo Association member in 2006 at the age of 47 and spent three years competing there. Although he never managed to win the world championship, he did win a circuit twice and the finals on average. Up next, we've Lloyd on Yellowstone. Characters like Smith's ranch hand Lloyd Pierce Prove that the show has amazing power over its audience. The wise older man, brought to life by the actor's life experiences, is one of the show's best characters. It's the shame that hurts the most, you know. But shame, it's in the mind. And you can turn that faucet off whenever you want to. This character will have a permanent place among the show's cast, which is great news for the brand and its devoted fan base. He has been working on the series since the first season. He started with a small on screen part and lent his horse wrangling expertise behind the scenes. It ain't a damn suit bucket, try it on. To everyone's delight, he's one of the most beloved Hollywood cowboys in the United States. Although we might not know what the future holds for Lloyd, we know that he'll also be appearing in the fourth season. Many fans are waiting for the next season to learn more about Lloyd's brand, the oldest one on the ranch. Finally, let's look at the future of Smith's career. When he's not wrangling horses on the big screen, Smith enjoys his time at home in San Arcadia. He enjoys nothing more than coming home to his ranch. The cowboy is very particular about his things, and above all else, he loves his comfort. In his time off, he loves to cuddle up with his dogs and ride his horses on his ranch. He loves to spend time with his family, especially his two beautiful granddaughters, who are the light of his life. The great cowboy still has no plans to slow down. He's grateful to the film industry for being so kind to him all his life. In an interview, the stuntman stated that if he can keep his feet in a stirrup, he'll keep working on ranches during the day and acting in movies at night. Now that's what dedication and passion are all about. We love watching Smith on the big screen, and he loves what he does too. All the love and, and, uh, from everybody is just kind of over, almost overwhelming. That's a wrap for this video. Do you want to know more about the career of 4EJ Smith? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.